Now, the only reason people play The Witcher is to play Gwent. Okay, let's just, let's just boil it down. You play The Witcher 3 to play Gwent, okay? And what CD Projekt Red have done is they brought out Gwent the video game. So now, you don't even need to play The Witcher to play Gwent. You can just play Gwent. So here's Gwent. <laughs> let's just go straight into it. Uh, I built a deck called Soldiers. Now we're just going to play just anyone. And I'll try and... Try and teach those new people who haven't actually seen Gwent before. So with Gwent, um, you get a total of 10 cards. So they've, they've changed a little bit from the video game. I haven't actually played the video game. I know, it's crazy. I haven't actually played The Witcher 3. I played through The Witcher 2 just a little bit. And then I realized, man, this, this game's... Oof. This game's tough. And then I just moved on. <laughs> so there are three rounds. Uh, at the end of each round, whoever has the highest points wins. That's it. Uh, this looks like a very good hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. Except I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Now, this is a good hand. Okay. So in the top left hand corner, you can see what each card is worth. So I'll go first. I will put down my Tritium Infantry. This guy is the MVP of my deck. And I'll just end the turn there. So whenever he receives a boost, so most of my cards give like a boost to another card, so they give it like plus one or plus two for example whenever he receives a boost he damages a random enemy unit by one so for example if they had one of my guys they would go from four to three and he's just going to kill it okay well that sucks not much i can do there but i'm just going to play a centurion royal guard we'll end the turn there so his ability is deploy so when he's played from your hand he gets three points for each other Sentry and Royal Guard you control. And I have two in my hand, so I'm going to play this guy next turn, and he's going to get another three points. Okay, so summon a copy of this unit from your deck to this row. What is Dominance? Dominance trigger this ability if you control the highest unit on the battlefield. Okay, so he doesn't. Uh, I'm just going to play the other one. So he goes up to eight. And I think we'll just end it there. So I'll try and introduce you to as many cards as I can just along the way. Uh, this ability here is like, I get to go first, I get this advantage. So I get to boost an allied unit by five and then this card gets destroyed. That's just a nine, just a big dude for nine. That's pretty good. Uh, what we can do is I will put down this guy. Left. So at the end of every Left. turn, every one of my turns, the guy to the right of him gets one point. So this guy is super good for long, like long-term gains. Gains one, I'm now at 23 and he's at 12. Okay. Deploy, damage all other units by one. That's perfectly fine. Because I'm still in the lead and I'm still going to gain points every single round. Okay, now this comes... You can pass at any point, but that means the other person can get to go as many times as they'd like. But I don't really want to pass because... Okay, I'll just play this little dude. He has an ability uh, that can only activate next turn, which he can just summon, summon all copies of him to the field. So if I pass just then, uh, he would have had the chance to play any amount of characters as he like, any amount of cards to win the round. But obviously, the more cards you play, the less cards you have for next time. Like, the next two rounds. Okay, I'm just gonna summon the dude. I'll also use my ability to boost an allied unit by one. So I'll boost him so he doesn't die. And we can always... I'm just gonna play boost self by four. So this guy comes in, he's a five. That's it. Okay. So I have a pretty strong army. I'm double his amount of points. So if he passes right now, I'll just accept the win for this round. And we can move on to the next one. See? Told ya. So I'm just going to accept the win and I'll pass. Okay. That's round one done. I, I'm in the lead, so I only need to win two out of three rounds. So at the beginning of every round, we draw three cards. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Um, 
Okay, my deck pretty much revolves around that one card you saw at the very start that he destroyed. Uh, I do have one more copy, so I might just keep digging for that one. And I didn't get it. Okay, so it looks like we might just need to just relax a little bit. Um, I'm going to put down a Thunderbolt. This one can boost my allied unit by three. I can do it twice. What's his ability? Boost an allied unit by three and give it a shield. That's pretty good. I just dropped a big ass seven drop. That's no ability on that guy. Okay, what we could do... If I play Geralt, I can destroy an enemy unit with nine or more power, but he doesn't have that, so it's kind of a waste. Uh, I'm just going to drop a Ballista. So when he comes in, you deal one damage to him. And then next turn, I can damage an enemy unit by two. So yes, I'm losing right now, but I think I might have this depending on what he plays. Uh, for four enemy turns on turn start, damage the, damage the lowest unit in this row by two. Oh my god. Okay, um... By two. So I could try and keep this guy up, but I don't think it's worth it. What I might do is just use his ability to hit him for two. And I'll just drop this girl at the back here. So she has an ability. Uh, if she's in the ranged section, so the range is at the very back. The melee's in the middle. Uh, you can just boost the unit by f boost the unit by one, and you can do that four times. I'm in the lead at the moment, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last because he is two cards ahead of me. If I think I'm going to lose this, I might just give him the round so I can draw three more cards and win the next round. Because I don't want to spend too many resources winning this round when I might lose anyway. Uh, deploy. Consume a unit from your opponent's graveyard or consume a unit from your graveyard. Okay, so he's going to consume something from mine and get five points. Great. Okay, well, I'm going to use a field medic. Drop him there. And boost that guy by three. Boost him again by three. So I'm in the lead, so if he passes now, he loses the game. So that pretty much means that he needs to keep playing to stay in the game. Consume a bronze unit from your graveyard, okay. Consume is just like, destroy it and get rid of it. Okay. He's also boosting his units. Hmm. See, if I drop a field medic, I can probably win this. You know what? I will. I'm going to drop another field medic. Boost those two. So now we're even. And I'm also going to just... Whoop, just increase him by one. So now I'm still in the lead. Uh, if, he, if he passes the turn, he loses the game. So he needs to keep playing. Destroy an enemy unit with nine or more power. Alright, well he had, he had a Gerald as well. Okay, well... I could keep playing, but I don't think I'm going to win this. Like, I could just dump my entire hand and try and win this, but I don't think it's worth it. So I'm just going to pass and just just end it there. I'm, I'm going to give him the round. So I can keep my two cards in my hand. All right, well, this is actually turning out to be a pretty good intro. <laughs> all right, next round. No pressure at all. Okay, okay. Okay, ugh. Not the best hand. I really do like this prize winning cow. I don't think he's going to put anything in like the back row, so I might just get rid of this guy. Yeah, I'll get rid of the trebuchet. Okay, that's pretty good. That was a good card to draw. Okay, so this cow can transform into a 10 drop. It's just a 7 drop with no ability. Okay. So, and he's going to boost it to 10. That's actually perfect. Status that blocks the next instant the damage dealt to this unit. That's actually perfect. I can just destroy it. Actually, I'll play the prize winning cow first. And then I'll just end my turn. Okay, so next turn I can just transform him into a tendril with no ability. Which, so unless he has like a kill spell or like something that deals damage to it, I just get 10 for free. 
Boost the highest allied unit by four. Okay, dude, calm down. Okay, what I'm gonna do is... Okay, we'll transform this cow first. Okay, so we're at 10. What I'm gonna do is just drop down... I think... We'll drop down Renoid. Because he comes in, boosts himself by 5. And then we'll also boost him up as well. Then we'll end the turn. And the next turn, what we'll do is we'll drop down Anna. So Anna, she gets to boost both both people to the side of her, so left and to the right, by one, as long as she is boosted up. It's a lot to think about, I know, but... Okay, so I can just drop her, and then I'll use my little ability here to just boost her up. And because of that ability, once all charges are used up, spawn and play a Lyrian Scytheman. And this guy boosts boost himself by one for each boosted ally unit. So he comes in and gets two extra points. And at the end of my turn, she boosts everyone to the side of her by one. So I'm up by six. And also we still have Geralt, so we can still kill his 14 at any point. Or even the Harpy as well. Damage a unit by five. Okay, well that was kind of perfect. Uh, let's just boost ourselves by... So this guy comes down and boosts himself by 6. And then if his shield dies, he goes back to 1. Consume a bronze unit in your graveyard, that's fine. Because we still have Gerald. 31, okay. Alright, let's play Gerald. And let's kill the Harpy. So now his last card needs to get him 12 points or more. I don't think it can because he would have played it by now. I think we got this. There we go. And that's how easy it is to win this game. Alright. GG. And also we can just say GG and it will send $5 to the other guy. And then he can do the same. So I'm just giving him free money. Like it doesn't come out of my pocket. It comes out of thin air. Alright. Well, I'm going to keep playing because I like this game. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.